All I knew was running. So when it came to it, what was I meant to do? I ran. I didn't stop. There was no one to tell me that that's enough. So I just kept going. A deadly virus has been released in an experimental facility outside London. Experts say there's nothing to worry about and it has been contained as we speak. When it all ends and you're stuck with only your mind to talk to, isn't it natural that you go mad? No one to confide in? No one to get angry at? No one to care? You end up just being angry with yourself. Isn't this what you wanted? No. You can do what you want now. No one's telling you no anymore. Doesn't matter. Think. Do you ever think for yourself? In that small little head of yours, anything clicking, ticking, moving away? This will be the last broadcast. We strongly lock all doors, windows. Thank you truly. Good night. And that's when I started running. Through the streets and fields, down roads and by rivers. Wherever the wind and path took me, there was still no one. There was no one. It really was just me. Sleep over here. Wait, who are you? Name's Andy. Andy Parson. Not that second names mean much anymore. <laughs> Doubt I'll ever meet another Andy again. I suppose your name is Andy. No. My name's David. That is disappointing. How are you here? I thought everyone was gone. Yep. Everyone's gone. I'm just a part of your imagination. Nah, just kidding. I'm real. Or am I? No, but seriously, I'm real. I don't even know anymore. I've just been running. How long has it been? How long has it been? Can we even have a concept of time anymore? I mean, your phone won't work. And who's to say my watch is any more right than yours? Your 6pm would be my 10am. Any person left now has their own bubble of time. Where time moves how they deem it to within it. So if I move closer... It's 6pm now. Basically a time traveller. Right. And all your human concepts are nothing but dust now. Religion. Society. Who's to say what's right or wrong anymore? It's all in your little bubble. And that is when I started running. Through streets and fields, down roads and by rivers. Wherever the wind and the path took me, there was still no one. There was no one. 
It really was just me. Excuse me, someone's trying to get some sleep over here. Wait, what? Who are you? Name's Andy. Andy Parson. Not the second names mean much anymore. Doubt I'll ever meet another Andy again. I suppose you're an Andy, are you? No. My name's David. Ah, well. How are you here? I thought everyone had gone. Yeah, of course they're all gone, David. I'm not real. I'm not real! I'm not real! I don't even know what to think anymore. I just keep running. How long has it even been? How long has it been, David? Do you even have your own concept of time anymore? I mean, your phone doesn't work anymore, does it? Who's to say my watch is any more right than yours? Your 6pm could be my 10am. God, how thick are you? You have your own bubble. In your bubble is your own space of time. Do you understand what I'm saying, David? Right. All your human concepts are nothing but dust now. Religion, society, they can all sod off. All inside that little bubble of yours, David. <laughs> Welcome back, David. You've been out for months. Virus. Running. I'm afraid that was all real. You survived the virus, and we found you passed out in a field. I think we can assume that that explains the running. <laughs> It has just begun, David. We welcome you into our bubble. I don't know if you're telling the truth But I want to believe it I feel like I've got nothing to 